it's not so much that you can't come up with ideas. And it's not so much that you don't know what to do. It's the fact that you're gaslighting yourself. Okay. So my dear, what I would suggest for you as homework would be jot down any and all fantasies that you have. Okay. Anything that sounds fun, anything that sounds arousing, exciting, kinky, dominant, whatever, anything that you're like, Ooh, that sounds fun in any way, shape or form. I want you to write it down. Okay. Just make a list. And I want you to go into this going, no one is ever going to see this list. This list is just for you. Okay. This list is just for you. Can you do that at least? Can you get that present with yourself, that honest with yourself and fantasize and jot down a list of yummy, yummy things that would be fun for you? You will do so. I love that. Okay. So that's phase one of my homework. Phase two of my homework is I want you to take your list of things that sound yummy, yummy, yummy to you. Okay. And then you're going to make a second list. The second list is going to consist of two things. One, well, actually one list with two data points. Okay. The second list is going to be things that you know are acceptable to your husband, not on his hard limit list. Not, not, you know, a violation of any of his boundaries. And so I want you to take the data from list number one and then filter it for step two, filter it through that lens. Are any of these things on my husband's no go list? Filter, filter that through. And then I think you're going to realize, hmm, we actually have much more in common than I thought we did. And I actually can explore these things and he is good with it and he likes it and he wants it. Does that make sense? Because I think this like fear or this shame that you have, this I'm going to turn him into someone he's not or he doesn't want to be, is filtering your ideas, filtering your creativity and you're actually gaslighting yourself. 